If you are a content creator, then one of the ways that you can monetize your content is by selling your own merch. And YouTube have just made that a lot easier for us with the new shopping tab that they've added into the monetization section of YouTube Studio. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to go through the process of setting that up, linking it with an, uh, a merch store, and then also how this is gonna look for your viewers uh, when they're watching your videos and how to integrate it. So let's just jump straight over into YouTube Studio. And this is all to be found in the monetization tab. Now, I should say that this is obviously a monetization feature. So you do need to be monetized on YouTube in terms of meeting that uh, requirement of a thousand uh, subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. And assuming that you have got monetization, then when you open this tab, what you'll see is that in addition to the uh, previous ads, uh, overview and the memberships and supers. We've now also got this shopping tab. Now, when you come into the shopping tab for the first time, what you're actually going to see is uh, something like this. It's going to ask you to uh, connect to your store. So it will say add products to your store, uh, connect to, uh, uh, to connect to a store to promote your products and merchandise and so on, connect to store. And you've basically got three options. They are either Speedify, Spreadshop, or Spring. Now, Spring and Spreadshop are pretty similar. Those are online uh, merch stores where basically the zero setup cost for you as the creator, you're just going to go in there, you upload your designs that you want, you pick the products that you want, and I'll show you uh, what my merch store looks like so that you can see how that kind of works. It's pretty straightforward and easy to do. Um, and as I say, there's no setup cost. They basically print everything on demand and you just get your commission out of all of the uh, the sales that are made. So it's really, as I say, nothing, nothing, no setup costs involved whatsoever. Now, Shopify is a bit different. That is more like an online platform to manage your orders and things like that. But generally, you'll be uh, then sort of doing the fulfillment yourself. But if you have got product and things like that that you want to uh, sell through that or you're affiliated with other uh, Shopify stores, then you would be able to uh, do that all through Shopify. Uh, as I say, I'm going with uh, Spreadshop though, um, just because that's the one I've had some experience with before and I uh, know that they are pretty reliable, but I'm sure the others are as well. And I didn't want to get into any fulfillment. <laughs> so uh, all you're going to do though is click on here to uh, connect to your account. It'll take you into your account on Spreadshop, Spring or Shopify. You're then giving YouTube access to see that account. Uh, and then from within that account, they're going to prompt you to go and get, grant access to your YouTube account. So basically, the two can uh, talk to each other. So these two sort of little approval processes to go through, pretty painless, and it's all done in a matter of minutes. Uh, once you've done that, though, when you come back over into your YouTube shopping section, uh, then what you see is this. You've got a list of your products. I can come down here, click this little arrow. These are the products that I've got available on my uh, Spreadshop account. And then you can also choose which products to display. So if I come down here to customize, uh, these are the products that are in my uh, Shopify shop. Uh, and then I can choose which ones I want to add over here into the ones to display. So at the moment, they're kind of all in there. But if I just come and say, take this one out, where is it down here somewhere? Uh, let me just drop it out. I could take anyone out, actually. Drop that out. There you go. So this one is sort of highlighted white, meaning it's not currently in the uh, in the list. Uh, and then all you do is just sort of drag it across, and you can see how easy it is to delete things as well. So that's how you're choosing what is going to be displayed from your spread shop, in this case, store, on your YouTube store. So once you click on save, that's done. Uh, and in terms of how your uh, your viewers, your subscribers are going to see it, there's basically two ways. You first of all have a store actually now on YouTube. So if I go to my YouTube homepage, um, then you can see here we've got uh, home along the top here. We've got home, videos, playlist, community, uh, and now we've got the store tab. So when you go into the store tab, this is now basically showing all of those products that we just selected in the YouTube studio. Uh, this is what people would see when they visit my uh, my YouTube page. Uh, now, it does show you a uh, uh, the actual item itself. Uh, then it gives you the description of it and then the price. Uh, but all of the links, as you can see, say from Spreadshop, it's telling you where it's going to redirect you to. Uh, and indeed, when somebody clicks on one of these things, say they click on this mug, click in there, that is basically going to take them through to... Uh, the uh, Spreadshop shop. So it would take them through to this page for the actual product itself. Um, and then all of the actual transaction is done through there. So it's not a case of you're selling stuff through YouTube and YouTube are taking a cut or anything like this. It is just a case of giving you this platform, if you like to, or storefront to then direct them to some external store. Uh, once they are here, one thing I will just say is um, you can also browse the rest of the product. So you could then, this could be a gateway into a product library. So here I do actually have some additional products. 
One thing I'll say then is that uh, I've just added in some more products and they haven't actually updated just yet on the uh, on this store side of things. So if I, you can see here, uh, there's a whole nother uh, live streamer uh, logo here that I've created that there is a series of products on for this. However, if I go back into YouTube Studio, it's not quite updated. So I don't know what the update frequency is, whether it updates on a sort of daily basis or something like that, whether they have a little, uh, the two platforms chat with one another to update the product list. But certainly uh, you can see that not everything that is on the uh, web is actually in this uh, product list at the moment. But uh, this is what happened with some other new ones that I added. It just took you know a few hours or something like that to, to update. Uh, so if you have gone in and added some more into Spreadshop, uh, in your excitement and then are wondering why they're not in YouTube, I would recommend just giving it a few hours uh, or a day or so and then just see if they're there the uh, the following day. Um, so if we uh, then have a look at the, the other way that people can find this because uh, you obviously got the store then on your website or sorry, on your YouTube channel. But the great thing is you can also uh, actually feature them in videos. So let's have a little look how to do that, shall we? If I come over to a video, and here we are in YouTube Studio for a video I did where I happen to be wearing this same hoodie. <laughs> and if I want to add this now into that video, um, we're going to come down to the monetization section. So here you can see the monetization tab and click on that. Uh, this is generally where you would set your uh, things related to ads. So ads and premium, you can select what type of ad you want in there. Uh, well, now you can see we've got this shopping tab at the top. So all I'm going to do is click on here and then it says tag products in video uh, and so I can click on the tag products and that's going to bring up basically just my Shopify list just like we had in the other um, the other section and I'll just come down here look for the uh, particular product drag it in uh, and click save and I've now then embedded that product in that particular video and you can add multiple uh, multiple products and the way that that looks then for the uh, for the user, uh, the viewer, I should say, <laughs> is if I come over to uh, an example video, uh, which is this one. Uh, so this is another video where I happen to be wearing this same hoodie, <laughs> which is um, down here, this one, Recovering Perfectionist Men's Hoodie. And what you can see is because I've attached it to that video, uh, then now it actually appears down here uh, alongside the video. It also appears, if I just close this one down, uh, here you'll see that there is a little um, a little button on the bottom of the video, bottom uh, left hand side of the video saying view products and when you click on that then it does just actually pop up the list of products here uh, and then once again clicking on that would take people through to the uh, to Spreadshop. Now if you are on mobile uh, then it looks a little bit different to that um, so let me just pull that up. Uh, you've still got the same uh, same little button there and then the uh, the items are actually down below here so sort of further down but at least they are still on screen so it means that uh, you know traditionally if you want to tell people about your merch store you may have a link in the description telling people to go there and so on uh, this just makes it much more sort of uh, uh, out in front of everybody so that uh, you know even if you're not mentioning it then it is still clear that uh, these things are available uh, and so it's a great way to distribute your merch now just quickly if I show you how uh, Spreadshirt works so I'll just come over to uh, Spreadshirt so in here all you do is you just literally drag in a design so drag and drop your design in uh, so this is one that I've just recently up uploaded. Uh, you click on the design that you want. It will tell you the uh, different things that you've got, uh, different items that you've got associated with it. But I can just come in here. Sorry, I got that silly overlay over there covering everything up. <laughs> uh, here we go. That's a bit better. So these are the different products and I can just click in all products. It will show me a list of all potential products that I could uh, have with this particular uh, this particular thing. So say I thought Maybe I want to have a long sleeve t-shirt. There's all kinds of different things down here. Stickers, uh, men's clothes, women's clothes, children's clothes, all that kind of stuff. Uh, you can see I'm just really whizzing through. There's other things like mugs, hats, all that kind of thing, uh, tote bags and so on. So let's say, okay, I want to uh, have a duffel bag <laughs> like this and then I'll click on done and then I can scroll down and there we go. There's the duffel bag and then you just click in here uh, and then we've now got that logo on the side. Uh, you can choose where to put it. So you've got the uh, front, back, uh, right and left and so on. Uh, and what you'll see over this side then is you can choose things like the product color. So actually, although it says product color, usually whatever selection is in here, um, the buyer will have the option to choose whichever color they want in any case. Um, so you're just having basically having a look at how it looks. 
click on print area. So this happens to have four different print areas. You can choose either you want it on the front, uh, it happens to be on the back here, uh, right or left, and you can just basically drag this where you want. So if I change it to the right, you can see that it's now put that logo on the right. Uh, you can also click into here uh, and make some adjustments in terms of size. Actually, that happens to be at the maximum size, um, but you can sort of adjust it like this, uh, put it in an angle if you want, um, and so on. So uh, you have got this uh, sort of level of adjustment uh, available to you and if you move something outside of the bounding box of the printable area uh, then you'll say see here it says this design is outside of the print area um, so it's a really simple process to be honest to actually use this and set it up once you've uh, done the uh, completed the design you just click on done um, then you would go through and give the the product a name sorry the uh, the design a name I should say uh, so if I just click on apply there so this has a name uh, when you drop a new design on, it will ask you to also just, you know, give it a name here. So we've got live streamer, uh, the different logos and things like that. Um, and that is it. It is as simple as that. And then it's click, uh, connected to your YouTube and then all of your merch will be available on YouTube. So uh, I hope you found that useful. Obviously, link to my merch, you'll now know, is down in the description. And what I'll do is I'll leave a link to some other videos all about YouTube over on the right hand side.